forever, forever, forever you be. Forever you be the lamb upon the true. You are the lamb upon the true. A gladly by money. A gladly by money. Worship you, my Lord. Shaliko sunamanda rikala barush kitayata. Zizo kote li banande kula barada kaya tedi seliatos. Jekobaneze le kuka nanga la kapiru usu itinanga lo ilenga boy. Zuze gu kukata manayata. Leo semanayata. Tekun talabradekes. Zuzu Mendarada, Father, we thank you, we bless you, and we we'll give you praise. We we'll give you honor, we we'll give you adoration, O oh Lord. Blessed be God for another day in your presence. Thank you for the celebration service. Blessed be God. In Jesus' name, have we prayed. And the people say, Amen and Amen and Amen. Now, happy uh, Sunday to all of us who are connected right now and those who. We're going to watch the telecast later. I trust the Lord that this telecast is going to be a blessing to you and I. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord is faithful and His mercy and joy forever. Now quickly as we go into the world, I want to look on the message title, Don't worry for anything. Don't worry for anything. Or do not worry for nothing. I will be taking my test from the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. He said, be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Now, King Jeff Watcher said, be careful for nothing. Not just let you say, don't worry, do not worry at all. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, not just on your job, not just on your marriage, but my marriage or your academy, in everything, your hair, everything, everything that surrounds you. Mm. He said, We by prayers and supplication, we thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. A whole lot of people complain and complain and complain without giving God thanks. We have reached the almost the climb at the end of this 2023. It's time for us to give in thanks. You have been complaining since January to now and nothing has changed. It is time to say, Lord, I don't want to worry myself anymore. I want to give you thanks. I want to give you praise. When we praise God, He's come down and rescue us from the calamity for the challenge you may find ourselves. Let me kick off so by uh by affirming that Apostle Paul that wrote this uh, uh, episode to the Philippians, he knows that they are going through a lot of things. And this is a remedy for all the antidotes to life challenges that they face. Challenges can come your ways through health or through financials or through one thing or the other. Uh, Paul noticed, I said, but I wish above everything. Be careful for nothing. Don't worry. Don't bother yourself. Don't let your heart trouble you. But in everything, we thanksgive you. Let your request be made known unto God. You say, but this is the end of the day of the year. In this remaining weeks before we cross over to 2024, 20, 20, 20, 20, we things change can turn around. Yes, it can turn around. It does not take God even one day to do this. A, a twinkle of an eye, He can turn this around. He can touch the heart of men and they can come for your rescue. He can touch the heart of men, those who say they, they're going to kill you right now. They can change their mind. Are you in the kidnapper, kidnapper den? Lord can rescue you. Are you in a place whereby you don't know how you find yourself there? The Lord can rescue you. Don't worry for anything. What you need to do is to give God thanks, is to celebrate Him. Life journey is often full of challenges, but by keeping our focus on God, 
we begin to learn how to give in turn so that the champion in us can emerge and testimony follows when you keep giving God thanks the next thing testimony will follow don't wait until you get one billion or one million or so much somewhere before you give God ten who give it thanks for you God waking you up a whole lot of people went to bed last night they couldn't wake up this morning it's time to give God thanks you say but I have no food in my in my, in my house I, I would like what of you who have food in the house but they can't eat I'm living in one room uh, apartment uh, uh, my, my mates are living in Marshall go and ask them. some of them are living in Marshall but they can't sleep they can't sleep early this year someone called me very great man called me very rich he called me around four o'clock early in the morning and where he live that should be it was so midnight and I said are you not in that country he said yes I am I said why are you awake right now I said I can't sleep a whole lot say you need to pray for me I can't sleep a lot of things surrounding me is trouble I can't sleep yet the money is there the car is there the, the, the everything you think of they have it they can travel all over the world but they can't sleep you that live in that one room apartment you can't sleep wake up you see, joy is not in the multitude of their burdens. It's in the heart. There is a lot of people who have a lot of things to eat but have no joy. That joy has been taken away from them. Why do you think some billionaire commit suicide? Why do you think some people who have reached up there later say they can't take it anymore? You need to reach a point where you don't need to worry anymore. But you, everything you commit it to God. With thanksgiving. That is what i'm talking about now this topic we're talking about uh, don't worry for anything may seem straightforward but the riches lies in those for world do not worry do not worry don't worry for anything or be careful for nothing it lies in that four walls be anxious king jeff just say be anxious for nothing be anxious for nothing let me read it again he said be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication by prayer and supplication let your request be known unto God so uh, uh, when we say be anxious for nothing especially uh, those who are in the context of what will I do to come out out of this predicament what will I do for me for my life to be better no Paul, Paul understood the life that the Philippians are going through. Now, if you read uh, um, uh, Acts of Apostles chapter 16, you could see Paul went through peril, went through trials, went through turbulence and all that. So Paul understood what the Philippian church are going through and said, look, I need to write to them to encourage them. Most times the epistle of Paul is written to churches who are struggling, who are going through one challenges or the other. For example, he wrote a letter to the church of the Ephesus encouraging Timothy so Paul did not miss one and said don't worry for anything at this that junction that the Philippians will say well what do we do should we back off should we leave this gospel they are navigating a whole lot of challenges and, uh, and transformation in their life that made them to change uh, their belief and, and say look is this God worth serving having not simple say well if God did not answer me I will question him who are you to question God everything he makes everything beautiful in his own time you don't say well you don't threaten god if i didn't get this in a while i would throw out my bible no if you throw your bible away he's still god all you need to do come with thanksgiving i know this worry have have overwhelmed me down but i'm going to come out of this worry by looking unto god he said looking unto jesus the author and the finisher of our faith paul was writing to them he said don't even look at me look unto jesus now the word looking unto jesus is a continuous word when you look at men men will fail you when you look at men men that you thought they are up there yesterday today they have compromised they will fail you so that's what paul said looking unto jesus the author and the finish of my of our faith this Bible you see, it become my standard that I, I, I work on. I don't work on men's standard anymore. I told my wife, look, I, I don't want to, 
I have 100% belief on any man of God on it anymore. Because the whole lot of things are going, going on. People are chasing money and chasing that. The, uh, people who you think they are walking in the holiness, they've deviated. So their life will not be my stand, my measure of my standard of Christianity. It is the word of God. I can, if I can describe it on this world, I believe it and I will work with it. You may not see these challenges until you are being uh, oversee people or being a pastor or being a CEO of a company. When you begin to deal with people from different background, people of for, 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 for different character, you begin to see how people reason. Be an employee of labor, maybe employing maybe 500 people. You see, you're going to deal with 500 characters. Because all, all 500 of them, no matter the course you take them through, the induction take them through, they cannot have the same behavior. So some of them will worry, some of them will come late to work and all that. But you need to be focused and say, look, no matter what it is, I need to speak to them. So what does be anxious for nothing truly means? In essence, it is ten an invitation to foster um, a mindset grounded on trust, prayers, and gratitude with our relationship with God. With our relationship with God. Prayers unto God. It recognizes that life may present challenges and concern. There are enduring uh, uh, things you're going through right now. But I say to you, peace is coming. Don't bother for anything. Let the peace of God come into your heart. The peace of God that passes all understanding. Be in your mind and be renewed. There is nothing like peace when you are stressed off. Cry to God to give you peace. When you are look as if you are confused, you don't know what to do. Cry to God for peace. The very God of peace about with you. Now look at what he said in verse 7. He said, and the peace of God, mm, Jesus, you need the peace of God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your heart. When we are troubled, our heart is troubled. When we are troubled, our mind is troubled. Anything that troubles your mind can destroy your, your life. Anything that troubles your mind can take you on to, into depression. Anything that troubles, troubles your mind can rise, can increase your high blood pressure, your blood pressure. Anything that troubles your mind can make your sugar level to even to go up, especially if you cross 40 years. And he was saying, I said, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Another scripture in Proverbs say, guide your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Out of it are the issues of life. Guide your heart diligently. So we need to do that. That our God that we serve is able to rescue us from the calamity. Don't allow anything to trouble your mind. You may be, you are, you may be going through what uh, nobody could, could, could understand, but God is aware of it. Hallelujah. Now we need to recognize that life may present challenges and concern. But we should know that God is with us. He said, nay, in all this in Romans, nay, in all this in, we are more than conquerors. I refuse to trouble myself. I refuse to, to walk the path of, of the devil. I refuse to succumb to the dictate. I must have to believe God for everything. Look at what he said, Romans chapter 8. Oh, begin to say, verse, verse 35. He said, who shall separate us from the, from, from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or destroy was listing them down, or persecution or famine, or nakedness or perils or sword? At his written, for thy sake we are killed all the long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, verse 37, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Christ, through him that has loved us. For I am persuaded that neither height, neither death, nor, nor life, nor angels, nor principality, nor powers, nor things present, or things to come, nor height, nor depth, 
nor any other creatures shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Lord Jesus we need to know that God is with us it doesn't mean that trouble will not come it doesn't mean that challenges will not come it doesn't mean that uh, there are uh, you everything will be 100 percent no but you must have to ignore all those things ignore them deliberately issues of life that want to bring you down ignore them deliberately but you rather encourage yourself and have the mindset of turning to prayers and seeking god's guidance and comforts and worries when you begin to see God, worries vanish away. Early hear this. Every time we begin to worry, we should see that as a call from God for us to pray. Every time, every time that we begin to worry, we should see that as a call for us to begin to pray. That God is telling us that it's time to pray. This is an, a very important principle that we need to learn. That worries, when you worry less, you pray more. The more you pray, the less you worry. Worry, can, worry and anxiety can take prayer from us. Don't worry. Shadrach mentioned Abednego when they were about to be thrown to the uh, furnace fire. They were not worried. He said, we don't, we're not careful, Nebuchadnezzar, we're not careful to listen to you at all. We are not, he said, you see, do you see that when they threw in the fire, they were not praying. They didn't pray. He said, the God that we serve will deliver us. But if not, we are ready to perish on the fire. A whole lot of people pray a prayer of panic, panic prayer. I call it panic prayer. It is when they just go, hey, Jesus, hey, Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood. No, that is not the time to pray. That I'm not trying to pray. Where you there's trouble lens that it's time for you to know the God that you serve. Hallelujah. <laughs> One of my friends opposed to a man that has so much faith. He said three times he, he escaped plane crash. He said one of you was with one of these great men of God. The plane was bubbling boo, 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 boo. to the point that the pilot had to uh, 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 went uh, dive and begin to of flow the, 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 the aviation from the sea. He said, when people are running around, he will tell you, they will say, give me my food. He said, are you a human being? He said, I'll pray before. He was saying, I'll pray before coming entering the plane. When you see people pray under pressure, that is not the, God, you see, it is the devil that pushes them to pray. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. No. Call upon him and he will answer you. But not in a time like that. You, you, when you see that trouble is coming, you call upon him before. Prayer has been stored in heaven. It's very important that we understand that worry, don't, uh, that worries can take a whole lot from us. Don't worry. Things aren't the way they look. It seems. When you depend on God, when you look on God, you will see that things who you are, that you are worrying about it's not that difficult. You could surmount it. Philippians chapter 2 verse 13. Say for it is God who works in you. To will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. Jeremiah said I know the thought that I have to worry. Thought of good and not of evil. Let's begin to give God praise. Let's begin to honor him. Let's begin to adore him. Let's begin to barak him. Let's, let's just halal him. Let's just give him praise. God is too good. Don't let worry take away peace from you. You recall the account of Jesus' disciples in the storm. Worry was, worry was about to keep them in the way, but Jesus was sleeping. As I close with this, Luke chapter 8, verse 22. Now it came to pass on a certain day that he went into the sheep with the disciples and he said unto them, let us go over to the other side of the lake. Now Jesus already told them, let's go over to the other side of the lake. Jesus knew that no turbulence would kill them in the sea. 
Jesus knew that they must get to the other side. But the disciple couldn't understand, couldn't really get the clarity of the word, let's get over to the other side. Anytime you want to cross from one point to B, there could be an obstacle. But you need to learn to deal with the obstacle. Anytime you want to get to the level of being a millionaire, there could be an obstacle for crossing, you may get to million and something drop. You know that that is turbulent that you need to speak to. Um, and they, uh, 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 okay, let me let, wait, let cross over to the other side and said unto them, Let us cross over to the other side of the lake. And they launched forth. But as they sail, he fell asleep, that Jesus fell asleep. And there came down a storm of wind and lakes, and they were filled with the waters. And in, in jeopardy, look at what he said in verse 24. And they came unto him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the waters, and they ceased. And there was a calm. And he said unto them, Where is your faith? Worries can kill our faith. When you worries, it kills our faith. Today you're going to cry like the disciple. Oh Lord, increase on our faith. You that's worship right now, begin to cry. So Lord, increase on our faith. I don't know the challenges you are going through right now, but say, Lord, increase on our faith. I don't know the difficulty. I don't know whether the devil is telling you you will not be able to make it to 2024. 20, oh Lord, increase on our faith. I don't know the dead that is hovering over your head that they're coming to possess your heart, coming to take over your heart. Oh Lord, increase on our faith. The Lord Himself will rescue you, will come and rescue in a time like this. He calls Kalabara Nakasuteliba. Lembros kito lambara da kas ketelus kadaman shirusha. Baros ketelis kataparanda lakra. We cry unto you, Lord. Kandele grede gede gele brode gede. Kikele grede gede gede. Begin to pray. He caught all Lord brother gahaya. Zeze gede gele. Kakadas tongue will not swallow you. Will not swallow you. Ikele gere de gede. Thank you, Lord. Daily as a leaf, as oft do not breathe. Let my whole life be expression of your grace. We cry about Father, hallowed be in your name. Hallowed be in your name. Father, I agree with everyone that is going through turbulence right now. I declare peace now to you. Peace in over your head. Peace over your business. Peace over your marriage. Peace over your children right now. Peace over your academics. Peace over that trip you are going through. You are going to. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree peace. Shakata la that, that person that having a, a pain in your eye, your vision, your vision, it become blurry, especially the the left eyes I declare peace right now vision be clear vision be clear now in the mighty name of Jesus Lekos Kandala Brada has the Sekito Riba Noskitala Bahara the higher thank you Lord Jesus we bless your name Lord we'll give you praise in Jesus name we pray amen amen I trust, I trust that this uh, telecom was a blessing to you now quickly I want to take an offering let to give an offering our banking data is gonna pump in on the screen right now uh, you're going to use all those uh, uh, method of giving to drop your offering or your seed or your tithe. The Lord laid to give your tithe to this ministry. We we'll have banking details in South Africa, Nigeria, and also on our website. You can give. Father, I bless the offering of your people in the mighty name of Jesus. As they give, open all the heaven for them in the mighty name of Jesus. We'll rebuild the devourer for their sake in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. What a day, what a day. Now also our books uh, in the Amazon, uh, another uh, social media platform, take advantage of that, just order our books. Uh, we're, we're trusting the Lord who can get uh, one of the title out this December of Fukano by January to hit, to hit uh, uh, social media. All right. I can't wait for that book to come about. Get the books and I trust the last read the book get revelation get an insight that will rescue you out of worry may the lord bless you may the lord keep you in the name of jesus do share the telecast of people 
in the mighty name of Jesus. But hear this, no matter what matters, know that the same God is still at work in your life. We'll see you again on the telecast.